Here's a quick tip if you have like a LiPo battery that is just too low on voltage so it won't charge anymore. So for instance this is a Spectrum Smart 3S 1300 battery and in my experience I have a, a few of these batteries that actually when I've had them laying around in my battery case for a while a few months then they are more or less just depleted so if I plug in, plug in this battery check it then like this you can read the uh, see that there is actually nothing displayed so it means that um, this one doesn't have any charge at all but then using this old charger then set to NIM charge and just have a really small current like 0.3 amps and if I start this one just check the battery and then start charge and you can see that uh, right away I get some sort of a readout on this display on this device uh, and um, right now it says like 1.3 1.4 for one cell and 2.8 2.9 for the other cells and uh, that's displaying zero on this display then also so I just have to let this one charge for a bit and the trick is then to get the voltage to this first cell up to at least like 3 volts. So right now it's like zero. Just checking so that the battery doesn't become warm. And slowly this uh, voltage will rise. So right now it's above 2 volts at least. So this is just a, a way to salvage LiPo batteries that are totally depleted due to I mean, I, maybe I haven't had enough storage voltage when I put this one into storage. And this is not a, a recommended uh, solution, but the, the other option is just to toss this battery and purchase a new one. And these are kind of expensive for being a 3S battery. So I'm just showing this tip how to kind of a emergency salvage your LiPo batteries. And I would really have this like low uh, 0.3 amp charge so it doesn't put any stress on the battery and I have this hooked up by the plus and minus leads then just to the uh, IC3 connector like this and then I'm just plugging in the balance lead to my spectrum smart checker so I can have a readout of the voltage of the cell so this one right now the first cell is like 2.5 volts slowly uh, it becomes um, 3 volt and when it be just slightly above 3 volts I can just put this one into my spectrum smart charger and then I could just continue to charge this battery as normal but I really have to jump up the the battery level just to 3 volts then so like right now it's like 2.6 so it's slowly rising and I wouldn't end the charge until it's like 3.2 3.1 point two volts maybe just doing this like now I've charged like two and a half minutes almost so maybe this takes um, three or four minutes just to get this one the first cell then one up to th above three volts so as I said this does not a kind of a recommended thing to do but if you want to salvage your kind of depleted LiPo batteries this is one way to do it you really have to have kind of an older charger like this or just generic charger that can charge NIM batteries also so you can just set it to a really low um, current then also I suppose you somehow could do this with a smart charger but I also think that the smart charger they uh, have kind of a protection and protecting cir circuit and, and programming so they don't allow a battery that is below like three volts to be charged because it's not considered to be safe but in my experience I've done this like 10 times and I haven't really have any bad experience or anything happen so it's slowly just coming to almost 3 volts soon on this first cell then some of the other cells are like 3.2 3.3 almost so it's getting near like 3 volts in this first cell and then I suppose that this one will start to show like 1% or something So I'm almost there, I'm in like four minutes on the charge time. Now I can be like three volts on this cell and 3.2, 3.3 on the other cell. So if I would then just start
stop charging on this one like this I can read out that this is still holding at 2.9 it's dropping quite fast so probably I just should uh, charge this on just for a short bit and just to unplug this one and plug it in again I can hopefully have a readout of the voltage so it's uh, above 3 volts at least so by doing this then I can just harvest this battery and um, right now then when it's uh, above 3 volts almost I'll just put this one into my smart charger and continue to charge so just a quick tip then how to salvage your kind of a depleted LiPo batteries.